God is smiling down at Our Lady Queen of Angels Convent in East Harlem, New York. That's where religious from the Franciscan Sisters of the Renewal spend hours in contemplative prayer before springing into action to serve the community around them. In a neighborhood of poverty, violence, and gangs, their mission is a blessing. Reporter Colin Flynn has their story. There is a gang problem, you know, right here in, in our neighborhood, and it is not uncommon to hear the sound of gunshots. Victim after victim after victim. If someone's in a gang, they're, they're looking to belong. You know, everyone's looking for love. Everyone's looking for what they're ultimately created for. Everyone's looking for God. Everyone's looking for God. In Our Lady Queen of Angels Convent in East Harlem, a family is paying a visit to pick up food supplies for the week. I always draw art every day. You like the art the best? Yeah. Do you have a project you like the best? This is a common type of visit the sisters get from families who are struggling in the neighborhood. <laughs> Mother Claire is the superior. When you look around here in Harlem, what is the greatest need you see? There's so many needs. There are so many needs. The, the needs of the human being are the same anywhere, anywhere you go. And, and the need is for love, the need is for um, belonging, uh, the need is for God. You know, we have a lot of homelessness in this, in this area, so we see a lot of homeless people. And uh, then we have uh, the situation of families. We have very, very many um, migrant families who have made their way you know, from, from Central America here to New York City, but struggling to survive. First of all, our work is prayer because we're contemplatives in action. So we do um, take our prayer life very, very seriously. Uh, praying, of course, the Divine Office, the Holy Mass every day, Eucharistic adoration, and that is central to our life. But our, but our work is hands-on work with the very poor. Very, 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 very thank you for whatever you gave me. The need to be seen um, and to be cared for, uh, to be loved. In another part of the convent, Sister Elizabeth Marie is in the clothing pantry. Twice a week, the homeless and the poor are able to come to our convent and ask us for clothes. With the homeless being on the streets, if it's a big rainstorm, they'll just come drenched and just ask for a brand new set of clothes. Before we started recording, Sister had just been attending to a man who came to the door. The doorbell rang today and I went out and this man, um, first thing I noticed was his shoes um, clunking around. He had no um, shoelaces in his shoes and I realized I remembered that when you go to a, like a psychiatric ward or place or when you go into jail sometimes they'll take your shoelaces to protect you from harming yourself. In the kitchen Sister Catherine from Wisconsin and Sister Jacinta from the UK are making sandwiches. We are making sandwiches for our door ministry and which we do every Monday and Wednesday people can come get a sandwich cup of coffee. Sister Catherine comes from a sporting background as a speed skater. So when I was 17 years old, I competed in the Winter Olympic Games uh, for the U.S. speed skating team. A big change, a big change, but I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. <laughs> and previously, Sister Jacinta worked in healthcare. I was actually an occupational therapist, um, so wasn't expecting to, to be a nun. Um, but then um, I actually saw Pope John Paul II in Rome in the year 2000, and he just, yeah, he just changed everything. The sisters are hoping to reach the youth in the neighborhood before they get involved in gangs. Young, young children going into the gang lifestyle. Um, like how young would they be? I think, you know, 12 and 14, you know, 12, 13 and 14, I think young kids of that age. Do the people here have a sense of God or faith? People do have a sense of God. They see us and they know that we represent God somehow. And we just open the doors of the church and the sisters go out and just make a simple invitation. Would you like to come in and light a candle? Would you like to come in and spend a moment of prayer? We were stunned by the out outcome of, of that night. Almost no one refused us, whether they were, you know, young teenage boys in, in a gang, or whether they were 
you know, older people, and everyone in between. So even the gang members, you're stopping Abs them and saying... Absolutely. We just don't want to say a prayer, you know, and, and this sense of, yeah, like, I need God. And you know, God is good. He's good. He's only good. He's always good, and His plan is good. But to re... And we know that. You know, we know that in our minds, but to believe it in our hearts and then live from that place is an entirely different thing. Well, they're caring, they're, help, uh, they're generous, uh, they help other people, uh, helped me when my mom was in trouble. They're angels like God. Your hopes and dreams for the future, for yourself and for the sisters here in Harlem. I hope and pray that we will remain faithful to God. You know, that's all, that's all that matters is, is remaining in the will of God, no matter what it looks like exteriorly. Again, the maternal face of the church that's safe and available, but God knows, you know, so we pray and we live and, and he'll work out the rest. In Harlem, New York City, Colum Flynn, EWTN News In Depth.